Hello and welcome to this tutorial video. I'm going to teach you the guitar part to the JW Broadcasting song called Please Be Convinced. The first chord is called a C add 9 and you'll play that like this. So place your middle finger on the third fret of the fifth string, that's the note C. Follow that with your index finger or first finger on the second fret of the fourth string, that's the note E. The G string or third string is open. And put your ring finger on the third fret of the second string, and that's the note D. Now pluck all of these together with your thumb, index, middle, and ring fingers of your right hand, like so. Our next chord is called a G5 and you're going to place your middle finger on the third fret of the top string and ring finger stays on the third fret of the second string and strings four and three are open. So the chord sounds like that. You're gonna pluck that chord two times in what we call eighth notes or two times per beat. So here's the rhythm. It goes like this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four. So that plays three times. Let's try that one more time. Here we go. One, two, ready, and play. One, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four. After that, we're gonna strum an A minor chord. And I'm using my thumb, the inside fleshy part of my thumb, and I'm doing kind of a slow sweeping motion so that I can hear each individual note in the chord. Okay, the verse section, uh, the first part of it is exactly the same as the intro. And then the second part, we play this, C add nine to G three times. And then we play A minor and then D. Same kind of strumming, uh, one strum per chord, but this time we have uh, each chord holds for only two beats instead of four. So one, two, three, four. A minor to D. Okay, so let's go over the verse. Here we go. One, two, ready and play. One, two, three and four. One, two, three and four. One, two, three and four. A minor, two, three, four. One, two, three and four. One, two, three and four. One, two, three and four. A minor to D. Okay, now we get to the pre-chorus section, and here's where the uh, strumming, or rather the finger plucking, gets a little bit more rhythmic. So we're going to play this same C add 9 chord, but this time pluck your thumb, and then pluck the other three fingers together two times in this kind of rhythm. So one E and da two and, one E and da two and, and that plays two times. So one, two, three, four. Okay, now the next chord is very close by. It's called uh, G over B. Just put your first finger on the second fret of the fifth string and leave your ring finger there on the third fret of the second string and the other strings are open in the same plucking pattern. Like so. Then we do the same plucking pattern on the A minor chord. And then we finish with a D major chord strum one time. So let's try that pre-chorus section. Here we go. Ready, play. C add nine. G over B. 
A minor and D. Okay, very good. So now we get to the chorus section of the song and this is where we're gonna start strumming. Now I'm not gonna use a pick for this particular song. I'm just gonna use index finger strumming. So for down strum, it's basically my fingernail. And for the up strum, it's the inside of my index finger. And the first chord is an A minor seven. And I'm using this particular shape. I, I feel like um, it sounds really nice. And because the melody starts on this note G, we want that as the top note of the chord. So this uh, chord voicing works well. So we have this A minor seven with our uh, index, I'm sorry, our middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Third string is open, first finger on first fret of second string, and then fourth finger or pinky on the third fret of the first string. Okay, and the strumming pattern is like this. So that's down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down. Da, 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 da. So let's try that a couple times, just a, what we call uh, a muted strum. Okay, let's try that. One, two, three, four, and down, down, up, up, down. Up, down, 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 oh, oh, up, down, 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 da, 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 da. Now let's try it with the chord. Ready, and. Okay, so hopefully you got that. If not, uh, pause the video, practice that a little bit. And let's go to the next chord. It's called uh, C. It, it is a C chord uh, with this G note at the top of the chord. So keep your little finger there positioned on the third fret of the thinnest string. And play this chord, this C major chord shape, with the same strumming pattern. So ready, and. Then we go to a G chord, and I'm just gonna play this version of the G chord, right? Same strumming pattern, ready, and. And then we go to a D, ready, and. Okay, so that's the chorus part, and those four bars repeat, so it's uh, eight bars of that. Then we strum the C major chord one time. Please be convinced. And then D chord one time. That you are in God's. Okay. So it's actually a 10 bar chorus, which is a little bit unusual. Generally a chorus section is eight bars, but we have those two extra bars added. One bar of C and one bar of D. So let's try it. So remember the beginning of the chorus. That A minor seven to C to G, to D. So I'll call out the name of the chord before we play it. Let's try it. One, two, three, go. C, G, D, A minor seven. C, G, D, C, one time, D one time. Okay, so that's the chorus section. And then we go back to the intro. The second verse is the same as the first, and then another chorus. And then after that, we go to a bridge section. Now the bridge section uses some bar chords. And the first one is a B minor seventh. So you can do that by barring all the strings on the seventh fret. Now I'm just using one finger because the first uh, four bars of the bridge 
are actually finger plucking. So you're gonna pu put your thumb on the top string, your index finger on the uh, fourth string, your middle finger on the third string, and your ring finger on the second string, and pluck all of those, like so. So pluck all together three times. Da, da, da. And I'm using my middle finger just to add a little bit more pressure and weight on the bar shape. Then slide that down to six, which is a B flat minor seven. Only play that one time and then slide down to the fifth fret, which is the A minor seven. And we play that three times again. So it's gonna go like this, ready and Okay, so that's the first four bars before that bridge part. So let's try it. One, two, three, four. And then we hold on the A minor seven. And then after that, we do a very similar thing, but now it's strummed. And we're gonna need to use the actual bar shape. So bar on the seventh fret using your first, first finger, and now with your ring finger two frets higher on the fifth string. That's your minor seven bar chord. So you're gonna do that same rhythm. So ta 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 So down, down, up, up, down. Okay, so here's the strumming pattern for the bridge part. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So when you slide down to the sixth fret, it's an up strum. So down, down, up, up, down, up, da, 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 up. And then the pattern repeats on the fifth fret. Down, down, up, up, down. And then back up to the sixth for that up strum. So let me play it one time. Ready, and. Okay, so you really just gotta listen to the recording and play along with it at that section and uh, get the feel for this rhythm. It is quite syncopated, but it's that down, down, up, up, down, and then I'm doing a quick up down and then up when I slide to the or move to the sixth fret. And then that re pattern repeats down, down, up, up, down, up, down, and then slide back up to six, up. Okay, so let's try it slowly. Three, four, down, down, up, up, down. So that plays for a while. And then at, coming out of the bridge, we have a build. So you're gonna play C to D, one bar each, with just down strums. And we're gonna crescendo like this. All right, so getting louder. So make your strum gradually more forceful. So let's try that. One, two, three, four, C. D, and then we're back into the chorus. And then it repeats. more time. And then C 
C. Please be convinced. D. And we're going to end it on D. That will get you started on learning this song. And then soon I will be posting another video, which is a complete play along with the backing track. Well, happy practicing, and I'll see you next time.